What makes us truly happy? A profound question we deal with every day in our search for better answers. It's a universal quest, a pursuit that unites us all. Happiness is more than an emotion, it's a fundamental part of our existence. But what if I told you that there's a science to happiness? Yes, you heard that right. There's a fascinating interplay of psychology and neurology that explains our moments of joy. This isn't just about understanding human behavior or the workings of the brain in isolation. It's about how these two fields come together, how our neural pathways light up with joy, how certain thoughts and experiences trigger a rush of feel-good neurotransmitters. The science of happiness delves deep into these mechanisms. It's an exploration into the core of our being, an investigation into what makes us feel truly alive. You see, happiness isn't just a fleeting emotion, it has a scientific basis, and understanding it can help us cultivate more joy in our lives. Believe it or not, your brain plays a pivotal role in your happiness. Think of it as the backstage crew in a grand theater production, working tirelessly to ensure the show runs smoothly. In the context of happiness, certain areas of the brain and specific neurotransmitters are the stars of the show. Let's start with dopamine, often called the feel-good neurotransmitter. It's involved in reward-driven behavior, giving you that sense of satisfaction when you achieve a goal. Then we have serotonin, which helps regulate your mood, sleep, appetite, and even cognitive functions. A lack of serotonin can lead to feelings of depression and anxiety. And don't forget endorphins, the body's natural painkillers. They're released during exercise, laughter, and moments of stress, helping to alleviate discomfort and boost your mood. So, next time you feel joyous, remember, it's your brain working behind the scenes, releasing these happiness-inducing neurotransmitters. But happiness isn't just about brain chemicals, it's also about how we perceive and experience the world around us. Our psychological landscape plays a pivotal role in our overall state of happiness. Emotions such as gratitude, optimism, and love can act like a happiness booster, elevating our mood and enriching our lives. Consider gratitude. When we express gratitude, we focus on the positive aspects of our lives. This simple act can shift our mindset, helping us to appreciate what we have rather than longing for what we lack. Then there's optimism. Optimists anticipate good outcomes even in the face of adversity. This hopeful outlook can foster resilience and help us bounce back from setbacks, strengthening our happiness muscles. And let's not forget love. Love in all its forms can create profound connections, fostering a sense of belonging and acceptance that is at the very core of human happiness. By nurturing positive emotions and fostering resilience, we can significantly enhance our happiness and overall well-being. Understanding the science of happiness is just the beginning. The real key lies in applying this knowledge to cultivate lasting joy. So, how do we do this? Let's delve into three practical tips backed by science. First, practice mindfulness. This is the art of staying present and fully engaged with whatever we're doing at the moment, free from distraction or judgment, and aware of our thoughts and feelings without getting caught up in them. Second, foster positive relationships. Humans are social beings and strong relationships contribute significantly to our happiness. So, make time for the people who matter most to you. Lastly, pursue meaningful goals. Goals give us a sense of direction and purpose in life. They don't have to be grand, even small goals can bring tremendous joy when achieved. Remember, happiness is a journey, not a destination. And armed with the science of happiness, you're well on your way to a more joyful and fulfilling existence. Thanks for joining, please don't forget to love the like button, harmonious subscribe and enhance the bell for more updated aspects of living a balanced life. Also your comments and feedback are always welcome if you like the content. Signing off from Curio Nexus until next time.